Stars, what are the best rap albums of 2023, at least so far? Well, 2023 has progressed well. There's some major albums on the horizon, but so far we've received Straight Heat from Black Thought, Killer Mike, Sky Zoo, Boldy James, Nas, Sexy Red, No Name, Mick Jenkins, and more. There will be a continued narrowing down of the endless amount of music released during the course of this year to just the essentials, providing a must-listen list of the very best projects. Struggling to find a list of the hip-hop albums that have been shifting the culture? We'll take a look at this list for rap and R&B to get a complete survey of the projects that are kind of guiding the conversation around hip-hop culture into the new year. There are some songs that can be found in the rotation on radio and some that are part of Spotify and user-created playlists. But if you're looking for some underground gems, some up-and-coming rappers, as well as, you know, the sort of big business, heavily promoted EPs, mixtapes, and projects... Um, you know, even if you're just tired of the mainstream album cycle, I think we've got some options here for you. The first one. And then you pray for me by West Side Gun, his highly anticipated new release, which sits at a relatively hefty 21 tracks, did deliver many things that were expected, like an AA Rashid intro, an interlude from his daughter berating our wealth, a poem from the always dope Keisha Plum. Hell, even a wrestling sample. As a great nod back to PFP, Cartier A. Williams appears again with a tap dancing interlude produced by Mr. Green, a producer we haven't seen Gunn work with in years. Number two, Burning Desire by Mike. Since releasing his 2017 breakthrough, May God Bless Your Hustle, Mike has been on a prolific run. His catalog has improved to expand and improve annually, with high-quality projects released consistently and Mike himself appearing sharper with each outing. Not a lot of artists can say that. Running concurrently with that artistic growth, he seems to be settling into his role as an elder statesman in New York's hip-hop underground. After being a mainstay in the community for years, the now 25-year-old has solidified himself as a figurehead in the scene. And with his latest LP, it seems he is acutely aware of just where he stands. With Burning Desire, Mike brings forth his most self-assured work to date. The project is a no-holds-barred effort, existing as a lyrically dense, texturally diverse, and unapologetically singular experience. Wish Me Well at number three, slash Glory Glory by Little Brother. Iconic North Carolina rap duo Little Brother returned last month with their first new work in four years in the form of Wish Me Well, Glory Glory. The duo of Fonte and Big Pooh queue up sterling soul beats from Deanna's Cook and Conductor Williams, offering up stellar rhymes built around philosophical inquiries and dazzling one-liners in equal measure. Rapping is generally a young person's game, but Fonte and Pooh are sharper than ever on the mini EP, which is part of the reason why Little Brother came out of semi-hiatus in the first place. In a statement, Fonte explained, quote, we wanted to bless our fans with new music to show them we're not leaning on nostalgia. After 20 years in the game, we're still hungry and actively working to improve our craft, unquote. While the duo lean into the signature beats and heady lyrics that have made them one of rap's celebrated groups for two decades, the search for growth and improvement remains paramount, added Big Pooh. Quote, we hear and see the requests for new music. We felt it was time, time to show our minds are still sharp and we're only getting sharper. Next, Magic 3 by Nas. It's unfortunate that hip hop and longevity don't have more positive connotations, creating this idea that once you reach a certain age, your rapping skills diminish. Granted, many of the greats don't go out on top. For every 444, there's a crown royal. But Nas, who we've been listening to for almost 30 years, has rewritten that narrative by releasing both his King's Disease and Magic series congruently. The pocket he's in with Hit Boy is like Killer Mike meets LP. 
two spiritually connected souls who become better versions of themselves every time they work on music together. It's why fans didn't seem surprised when Nas said he was halfway through his next one on Abracadabra from Magic 2 as their spark continues to produce some of Nas's best material in years. Magic 3 is the final parting gift for fans as Nas says goodbye for now to this producer-rapper rapper pairing. The album represents a milestone for Nas reaching 50 during 50 years of hip-hop, an audio journal of his accomplishments. His reflections on surviving life and lessons learned, reveling in black excellence, and his dedication to the art form by bucking the trends. But for an artist who was written off several times in his career, and even himself wrote off the genre he helped popularize completely, Magic 3 puts the stamp on one of the most interesting late career series in hip-hop history, a feat that may never be duplicated. It's ironic that we hear less about Nas musically than we do about, you know, a lot of very heavily promoted um, pop music, right? But if you're looking for something juicy to kind of sink your teeth into, right, as your family gathers at Thanksgiving or the other holidays, Kwanzaa, Christmas, Hanukkah, you know, putting on an interesting, mature track like any of these from Nas could be, you know, could just be the right layer to add to your gathering. Next, We Buy Diabetic Test Strips by Armand Hammer. When society collapses, Armand Hammer, Elucid, and Billy Woods rises from the rubble and destruction. We Buy Diabetic Test Strips is... The new album from the Brooklyn-based duo following up 2020's Alchemist-produced Haram, and it's a work that contests the current times, unafraid to break old caricatures into new ones. As people, we are governed by technology dictated by our cell phones and AI that's integrated into daily life. Armand Hammer understands the everyday struggle, the limitations of mortality and individual powerlessness. We Buy Diabetic Test Strips challenges the status quo, taking aim at new rappers, the diminishing economy, and the diminishing of black leadership in the United States. Billy Woods and Elucid may not have the solution for society's problems, but they recognize that the system is broken. Well, that just seems to evoke some of the more intelligent writing from early Gangstar. It certainly sounds way more interesting than the stuff that I hear on the radio, in the car. (laughs) So, you know, if you're working out, you're cleaning up, you're doing something around the house or traveling, again, another project that might be worth sampling and, you know, listening to if you just need a relief from, you know, booty holes being brown. (laughs) Another triumph of ghetto engineering from Open Mike Eagle. Open Mike Eagle has all taken a grandiose approach to rap music from 2010's unapologetic art rap to 2016's hella personal film festival and 2017's opus brick body kids still daydream the chicago bred la-based underground broke superhero has often organized his work around a key theme or principle his latest project another triumph of ghetto engineering is perhaps his finest work to date, or at least sets the stage for an epic debate among indie rap fans everywhere. This album has an explicit theme, the hard and often unrewarded work of black artists everywhere, and one that bubbles beneath the surface and gives the album its brilliant thrust. Namely, this is a celebration of rap, of its beauty and brokenness, of those at the top of the game and those gone too soon to ever reach a peak. Wow. This is an album of triumphs and toils of all that the game has given Mike and the ways in which it has fallen short for him. Mike is probably your favorite rapper's favorite rapper, but more importantly, he's your favorite rapper's biggest rap fan. Wow. That tells me nothing about the music, but it definitely makes me want to check it out because I think a lot of us have been feeling, you know, some of the ideas that his music evokes.